Okay, interesting. Uh, then we capsized the tugboat, and then they got into a submarine. Classic. Love- Happened a lot in the last 24 hours, except the last one was not a small one. Um, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, let, when, is the, when is this meeting? Oh, uh, it's right now. Oh, it's right now? Okay. Uh, it's not really happening. We're missing one person, so it's going to have to be rescheduled. But we're all here, so you're more than welcome to join us. Yeah. I pff, Give me five, ten minutes. I, I called the doctor already. She's on her way to do the checkup, and then I'll call you after you. All right. Well, we are currently um, fast moving at at least 29 miles per hour. So. <laughs> All right, that means we I should, have, uh, have all the time in the world. Yeah, pretty much. All right, I'll let, I'll let you know in a bit. All right, sounds good. All right, talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yep, bye. <laughs> Michael getting all the tea somehow. You know what? It's kind of growing on me. It's not that bad when you see it from this angle. It was worse at first. It's not... Now that I look at it, it's not too bad. It's just different. I think it's... When you look from behind is where it gets weird. You know what? No, it's not even that bad. From the side, it gives to ready vibes. <laughs> Isn't Jenny her own rank? Yeah, something like that. Hi. Hello. Right now it doesn't look too bad, yeah. Uh, just give me a couple seconds to get changed and then I'll be back to you for checkup and... That is not the angle you have enough. a black eye? Huh? You've got a black eye. Wait, do I? Yeah. Oh, it might have been from Benty's driving, to be honest. Either that is my... Uh, yeah, uh, true. Yeah. Either that is my... <laughs> my uh, what do you call it? Mascara? Mascara? My, my, my eyeliner? Yeah, yeah. Your eyeliner and mascara does not run down to your cheek, my dude. Oh. All right. Well, then it's probably Benji's driving, yeah. Yeah, probably Benji's driving. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me two seconds. I'll get changed, and then uh, I'll bring you through, okay? All right. Yeah, it could be inside outside lighting. But even with all the trouble, we still got it. Alright, Okay, Dr. K, this one's been shot in the ankle, in the left ankle. The what? Washed and bandaged it on the sink. I'm good to go. No, you need to check in the cake. Hello, you need a hand with anything? Yes, I'm very Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Yes, you I'm having a, a doctor do a checkup. She's just, oh, there she is. Help you feel oh. oh, beautiful, you're so lovely. Yeah, so, I appreciate it, though. Hi, hi, come on through. Hi. Hey, doctor, are you on duty? <coughs> I've just come on for a checkup. All good, I just want to double check we weren't yoinking your people to Kate, because we know how much no, we hate no. Kate. No, you're fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, all right. Cool. Nancy was a bitch. I don't want to fucking <laughs> You get Yo, only look are you Dr. Kate? Oh, are you Dr. Kate? No, I'm not actually. The exit is over here, everyone. The exit yeah, you, is over you get here. Where's Dr. Kate? Okay. Yeah, Where is she? Come on. <laughs> I legit just saw her. You, you already <laughs> checked in with her. My <laughs> God. What the heck is with people? Uh, welcome to <laughs> my life every day. <clears throat> yeah, so as you can see, uh, 
is not is not yeah. not doing it for me. Yeah. Okay. So, how are you feeling overall? Ooh, overall, I don't know, like a mm -hmm. like a three, four, depending on time of day. Okay, and I say the last thing that we looked at helicopter lady, your constipation and stuff, but I you also had. Why are we still talking about this? Hmm. Uh, you had the the blood clot near your. Uh, near your liver. I'm just oh, having a look to yeah. see if we have it had any more. Oh, spark. Uh, injuries since I last saw you. Yeah, yeah, that was not a fun one. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say it was. <laughs> hey, it's been two days with no incident. So <laughs> yeah, that's a good on you. That's a new record. <laughs> Uh, considering your reports are two days, three days, five, ten, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. Yeah, yeah, two days is a new record for you, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at the uh, incision first where they did the surgery, make sure that that's okay. You're still having pain. Yeah, but it's not too bad. Like it kind of depends, you know. Mm -hmm. I I take my morphine when I get out of bed, and then it kind of wears off. And then I try to pass out to deal with the pain and since i'm allowed to take one a day mm -hmm. it's a balance act it is it is because you know you don't you kind of have to think of when's the best time to actually do it because you know do you as, as you've been doing take it in the morning and having it peter off mm. uh, over the course of the day or do you kind of grit and bear it for a few hours take mm. it when you absolutely need it and then have it have the effects go on until the point where you can actually fall asleep no, I take it when I get out of bed in the morning and then mm -hmm. I just have to deal with it. And as the as the day goes on, I get grumpy as well and annoyed. And Yeah, that's because you're coming off them. Yeah. And it's all part of like a withdrawal symptom. It's the irritation and uh, <laughs> the wanting to punch things yeah. or people. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that I'm not allowed to carry a firearm because I feel like I've lost my license and killed somebody in the process. That's why I take it in the morning because hey. usually when I wake up, I have to deal with the <laughs> likes of Benji and Reggie. So. Ah, so you're almost certainly not a morning person then. No. No. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at the incision here, check <sighs> out the, the area. Make sure we don't have any other infections. Oh, have you gosh. been having an appetite again, or have you lost that as well? Uh, I it's been I don't know. It's been on and off. I you know I've been eating when I have to, mm -hmm. not when I feel like it, because I never feel like it. Because you feel like it, okay. Yeah, but I have been doing I what eat. you told me and introducing Good. random or different things. Good the roughage. Now, the awkward question, the uh -huh. bowel movements. Have you been going to the bathroom or have you been still clogged up? Yeah, oh, fuck me. Uh, I haven't been clogged off. Up, off, mm -hmm. clogged up, yeah. Clogged no, it's, up. yeah, no, it's, you know. But okay, that's good. I, again, it's not, I don't eat much, so there isn't much to do. So you don't do much, exactly, no. then. Why okay, is he doing this? So you don't eat much. Do you have like a bowl of soup, a sandwich, uh, or just enough to kind of get the feeling of a full stomach? It's usually whatever I can get my hands on. So I don't, I'm trying to get the soup just because that's easier to deal with. Uh, and then if that's not the case, it's usually just like some plain bread mm -hmm. with and without some veggies sometimes. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now, considering all your injuries and things like that, the fact that you've had some liver damage and whatever, I would recommend steering clear of uh, head eyes bleaches because of all the chemicals in it. We don't want to do any more Fuck. Uh, damage to the body right? Uh, as it seeps into your hair follicles. So if you don't want to say this much of a blondie bear, uh, I'd suggest shaving your head again. All right. I'll keep that in mind. 
Yeah. That might I I that kind of I'll 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 have to see if I if people are gonna make fun of me I might just fucking bust it off again. <laughs> I said, has Benji? Yeah, well, Benji seen you. Already, Benji has so, yeah. seen it, but surprisingly, didn't say much. The only person that commented on it was Reggie, That's and I just told him, you know, I can't bleach my hair because I have brain damage, and other stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 the brain damage mixed with like the fact that you you know you've got. <laughs> wounds there you've got you know the the, the chemicals seeping into about a wig? <laughs> the scalp and the bloodstream you've already got so much internal damage yeah we don't want those chemicals to cause anything more no i got you. yeah that's what i wanted to check before yeah, i yeah. went ahead and did anything because i'm pretty sure i was told not to yes so. <coughs> Fuck. all your uh wounds and everything seems to be healing very very fine there's no signs of infection just keep on doing what you're doing. All right. Um, try. Hopefully soon you'll start getting an appetite back, but uh, eating when you have to, rather than, you know, having the the need to eat. Mm. Like that feeling of eating is that is a little concerning. So I might see if I can get you in contact when she's back. Uh, mm -hmm. Our dietitian and a nutritionist. All right. Uh, Rosabelle. Um, just to kind of get you a bit more of a, a steady, steady diet to kind of see if we can get you hungry again mm. rather than, you know, you going through the motions of eating. Yeah. Right right now it's just, you know, on the schedule, like morning, mm -hmm. uh, morning lunch and, and dinner. And do you have any snacks throughout the day? No, not really. Okay. I would say, I was going to say your cigarettes, <laughs> but I haven't touched the cigarettes since I got out of the ICU, so that's not true. Jeez. <coughs> that's You're probably better than I am in that case. <laughs> well, I, as you much know. as as much as people wanna give me shit, like I do when I get told not to do something, not do it. Good. Usually. Usually. Ah. The yeah, occasional well. rule breaker then. Well yeah, you you know, like don't speed <laughs> and you know don't oh, run a red light. You went up on me. Yeah, you definitely went up on me then. I've got uh, <laughs> speeding. Don't do and, terrorism. <laughs> uh, disobeying a traffic control device. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. <laughs> I, had, I, had a, I only had a. I only had a second. Uh, was it? A, I think it might have been the second degree speeding ticket for the longest. Now I have <laughs> some other stuff that. Some I, other stuff? Yeah. I can't get rid of, unfortunately. Ah. I did get told not to do like... it, so I guess that's... <laughs> but you still did it anyway. Wait, you were just telling me that you tell you tend to do things. Like, if people tell you not to do it, then you don't do it. <laughs> well, that was... Shame. You know, they told me two years ago not to do it. And then I didn't do it for two years. Uh, but now it okay. did bite me in the ass. I, I, yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'll 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 deal with it. Yeah, I'll live. You gotta learn from your mistakes. Yeah. That's what you do, you know. I I kept saying to a friend of mine who kept coming and telling me all the the L's. He never told me when he when anything was anything good in his life. He kept coming and telling me when shit went bad, and I kept saying to him, "Dude, if you keep copying L's, you have to learn those lessons." You, you grow from them. You learn, yeah. You learn from the elves. Yep. Okay. Like you're healing up well. Still <laughs> take it easy though. But yes, don't don't bleach your hair. All right. I will not bleach my don't, hair. Don't don't dye it. <laughs> okay. All right. You're all good. Up you get. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Nope, actually, I still hate it. <laughs> oh my god. I, yeah, no, no, right. no, this is, no, this is, this is going. <laughs> You'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of here. <coughs> oh, it's a freaking door, I swear. There we go. Get out of my room. Oh, God. 
I think that the, the, what she's saying is that bleaching it will bleed to. No, just stuff going into the bloodstream. <laughs> okay, take it easy. And if you need anything, please call me. Um, but rest up. And if your friends give you too much shit, uh, get like them to help stuff. you shave your head. Yeah, I will. Um, <laughs> am I allowed to get a. Oh, fuck me. What? Why am I getting called from on? Am I allowed to get a, a, a single morphine before I leave? Uh, I should have the. See when your last one was? That was yesterday, the day before. Give me a second. Let me pick this one up. Oh. I guess somebody's checking if I'm awake. Uh, yeah, so you had one on the 11th, the 12th. Yeah. That seems about right. And now the 14th. So you've gone a whole day without having one. Yeah, that's... I slept through it. Ah. I'm not assuming you will give me two. <laughs> Hell no, bro. <laughs> give me two seconds on That's that. what I figured. <clears throat> Who is calling with none? Either either I picked up as they hung up, or they used it to check if I am awake. I don't know who would call with an unknown number. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Did you just hang up on me as I picked up? I let it ring and then I thought I heard something and I hung up to run and go investigate and then came back to the phone. Right, give me two yeah. seconds. And... Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. All right. Appreciate your help. I'll let you know if something comes up. All right. What's up? Uh, a lot. Tell Probably me. looking at going to prison for the rest of my life. Mm. So. Yeah, no, I've been We have there. a... Well, <laughs> yeah, no shit. How many friends can I really call and ask for advice on how to deal with a life sentence, potentially? Yeah. Alright, you have a good day. appreciate it. Uh, we have a... I don't know if it's a hearing or if we're just pleading our case or whatever to the Senate, but uh, it's a good chance that Sanguinile is going to have to go to war with the state of San Andreas. So. Well, here's the thing. It seems like no matter what we do, no, no matter what case we make, they are out for blood. So. I, I don't think that's the case. I definitely feel like it is. This new commissioner has some sort of hate boner for this island and refuses to see any rhyme or reason well has 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 Jaeger done anything to you know not piss him off so in this case surprisingly even though I know it's hard to believe yes I think that Jaeger has been more than reasonable in a lot of ways uh, uh, I think that we have a problem with the way that certain officers are very blatantly okay let me, let me pose a hypothetical to you, Michael. If, okay. if you are renting an apartment from someone, from a landlord, right? right? And the landlord shows up at the apartment and walks inside and says, I'm here on official landlord business. Is that not illegal? They have to provide notice to you, right? Uh, they can't they have to provide notice that, yeah, they can't just walk in and say, I'm here on official landlord business. You must provide notice that you are appearing, right? Right. So... Cops are doing this thing now where they decide to step foot on the island and then proclaim, I'm here on official Aegis business. Therefore, I'm allowed to do, like, whatever, right? Okay. Which is just simply not a thing. Well, Aegis is not cops either. Well, exactly. I, they're, they're, again, I don't know so how this is, this is the biggest problem that I have is that Aegis, I've, I've gone, I've talked to Crane about this. I've done my due diligence on Aegis. 
they are not a government body. No. So, uh, like I said to Crane, I said, I know this sounds like a dick move, but, like, nothing stops anyone from just telling Aegis no. Like, if you have a problem with it, arraign me in court. Oh, yeah, wait, it's a civil matter, not a governmental matter, so you can't extradite me to face judgment in court. Hmm. Give me, uh, you want to meet instead of phone? I mean, I'm at, I'm on the island. I'm not leaving this island. Oh, all right. Give me a second. I mean, you're welcome here if you want, but... Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, just give me two seconds before we continue. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I'm about to explode. Give me a second, Jack. You want me to just call you back in a few minutes? Guy's pissing on the phone. I know he's pissing on the phone. I know it. <clears throat> all right all right uh all right well so the reason i'm asking if jaeger has been what poking the bear provoking no, them not so much provoking more backing off is because i was talking to brian about some unrelated stuff mm -hmm. and he brought up jaeger I'm guessing he's doing his usual of thing of digging for, for information. Yeah, of course. He's trying to get anybody and everybody he can to flip on anybody and everybody they can. Mm, yeah, well, that too. But he also, like, he just told me, like, if if you, you know, if you know Jaeger, if this, he told me to tell Jaeger to stop what he's doing, or he's going to get... slow it down? Yeah, he's he's been, I mean, trust me, we've talked this point to death. You know my opinions on that, and you know that I've told Jaeger the same thing. Yeah, but is he and which, by the happen? way, he has. He has, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Does, does Brian, Absolutely, he's slowed down. Does Brian and the other people notice? I mean, so here's the here's the dilemma, right? Even if you go to Brian and you go, hey, you know, message received or whatever, uh -huh. that's just an admission of guilt. I know, I know. And that's how Jaeger sees that. Well, yeah, he's not wrong. It, it is. And that's the thing. Like, he's putting, he's putting Jaeger in a spot where... It's an impossible situation. Any it, answer he has, Brian gets the information he wants. It's not, I wouldn't say it's an impossible situation. The issue is that if there is so much shit out there that it doesn't seem like anything has slowed down. It, the, it has though, it objectively has. The, 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 everything, you'll notice everything culminated in the same like matter of days is, is realistically when a lot of that shit ended up getting used. And that was because, and like I told Jaeger, herein lies the problem, people got bored, they realized that their investments were about to go bad and they decided to just do whatever it was they felt like doing with it for their own fucking volition and that led to this problem uh what about and RPGs? you know jaeger can account for uh, most things that are out there i would say if not all and by his and even some of my own calculations there really shouldn't be much else that can be done I mean, again, like we've talked about, RPGs are RPGs, what the fuck ever, right? Like, that that shit exists and mass already anyways uh, from other sources, so. Wait, what do you mean other sources? Uh, you know that I'm pretty open when it comes to things <laughs> with you, but this is definitely not my fucking shit to talk about, so that's a conversation for you and Jaeger, but Jaeger's convinced you hate him because he shot Reed in front of you, in which I said, Reed is Reed, and he probably deserved it. <sighs> Okay, well, okay. So here's the thing, right? And I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Do I hate Jaeger? At the end of the day, a little no. bit. Well, yes, but he's giving me 
so many mixed signals. Also, why does he care if I hate him? He doesn't want to talk to me in the first uh, place. So, uh, on the, well, that's the thing, is on the precipice of all this, like, there's a potential that we're about to become, you know, traitors to the states of San Andreas and that we are about to potentially have to go to war with them. I said, hey, bud, I know you're not going to like to hear me say this, but if there was ever a good time to reconcile your relationship with Michael and Nick, it'd be now. And he said, I'm, I, you know, I'm not sure if now's the time. Also, I'm pretty sure Michael hates me. He didn't immediately say, I'm not working with Michael and Nick. He just said, I'm pretty sure Michael hates uh... me. And I said, why? And then he explained to me that he shot Reed because Reed offered to sell drugs to Eve or something. And I was like, well, then Reed deserved to get shot. Yes, he does deserve to get shot. But here's the thing. He's putting me in a position where he is doing these. So imagine if by that logic, the amount of shit somebody from the guild talked, would that justify me shooting them? Yes, you can say that, hey, he talked shit, he deserved it. But me shooting somebody from the guild would set Jaeger off because it's somebody from the guild. I know sure. Reed, I know Reed is Reed. I know Reed is an asshole and I know Reed is dumb as well, a brick. But th there's a difference though in being told if you continue talking about this, I will shoot you in the face and then turning it up to 11, right? Which Reed will absolutely double down in the face of something like that. And you know that. Yes, I know because it's Reed. But yeah, but if it thing. was you telling that to Lando or something going, if you keep talking this way, I will fucking kill you. Lando would shut the fuck up, I, regardless of what people might think. I don't think he would, but I don't I think know. he would. But here's the thing. I think if it I, comes to getting shot in the face, Lando would shut his fucking mouth, regardless of what his ego tells him to do. Maybe. But here's the, the other thing is that apparently Jaeger owes them a favor now. Uh, What, the Diamond Dogs? Yes. Uh, I'm trying to think of on what, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt that. Well, I don't know if that's for me to tell, so I'm not going to. But but no, from what they, they told me, they owe he owes them a favor for something they're doing for him. I I have a feeling I know what it's for. Yeah. But yeah. So that's one reason, and another reason is that he's still putting me in in a position where should I just let it happen that he he shoots somebody. Like, don't get me wrong, Reed is an asshole, and Reed is an idiot, but I still care about Reed because at the end of the day, Diamond Dogs are... I like Reed, too. Somebody that... I like Reed, too, but when Reed is offering to supply drugs to our friend that is chronically addicted to them to a detrimental level, and everyone that knows anything about Jaeger knows that his one glaring weak point is harming any member of the guild, advertently or not, and then you just press that, I mean, what, like... That's a no, death wish at that I, point, I, Michael. I, I get that. I get that. I'm not saying that what he did is right. But you have to see from my point of view that if I just roll over and let Jaeger do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't know. I don't disagree, right? And I tell Jaeger all the time. I wish that somebody would hold him accountable as well. Yeah. Like, I don't hate but... him. I think it's dumb that he shoots somebody like Reed literally in front of me. Well. I, I can't say in confidence that I wouldn't have done the same thing to Reed had he been saying the same things to me. So, well, here, I, and I mean that genuinely. Well, I, I'm pretty sure everyone would have shot him. But that's not the point. The point is just that if he does these things and justifies it that because he talks shit, then why wouldn't I be justified that if somebody from the guild or somebody else talked shit that I could just straight up shoot them? Uh, again... Talking shit's one thing, doubling down and talking shit when confronted. Look, all I'm going to say is that regardless, and, and I'm sure you're aware of this, regardless of the relationship deteriorating, that the guild has respected you and does empathize with you on the situation that you've been put through. But like, if, if it was coming from you, right? If it was you as Michael standing there telling one of us, stop talking about this, right? Or you're going to get yourself hurt. I'm... I'm very confident that most people would respect it if it was coming from you. If it's like somebody else, like some fucking random Mandem member or something like that, I don't know if we would show that same respect. But if it was coming from you, I think it carries a different weight. And I mean, I don't know the extents of Jaeger's and Reed's relationship, but uh, Reed just kind of... I don't know if they have a relationship other than Reed being Reed. I mean, I mean, no, I mean, well, Jaeger you, you knows would Reed. And, yeah, but you would assume they have yeah. a relationship seeing as they owe him a favor and for the thing they've done. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so that that's my point, right? Like, I'm not going to pretend to understand their dynamic, but 
uh, I mean, Reed should definitely be cognizant of the fact that threatening Eve, even by, you know, by proxy, is probably not a good idea in front of Jaeger, right? Dang. Like, Jaeger has blown up entire blocks or less, so. Well, if it's such a big thing, he could also have told me, and I could tell yeah, me to back and, off. I, I know. But it shouldn't, not... in Jaeger's mind, it shouldn't take that, right? And I'm not saying Jaeger's justified in that, but I'm saying that in Jaeger's mind, him telling Reed to shut the fuck up about it should have been enough, right? Maybe, but Reed doesn't respect Jaeger the same way he respects me. And I, I no, know. No, sure. And I, I understand that entirely, yeah. I mean, like, I can tell him, and I will tell him to back off. But this is the point. The point is just, and I'm just, I'm not trying to justify what Reed does because. No, no, but I understand Reed, you're in a situation where it's like, at what point do you have to put your foot down, even when it comes to Jaeger, right? Yeah. So, and I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that that situation as an isolated incident reads a fucking idiot. Yeah, so. no, I don't disagree. But I, I agree as an overall principle, you're not incorrect. So. But no. yeah, I don't know, man. I uh, I talked to him yesterday. You know, the, look, they, they're making a case or well, rather he is in charge of making a case to the Senate as to why Sanguinile is not the aggressors and why we are willing to try to sort this out amicably and whatever. Uh, and I'm trying to help him with it, but it's Jaeger at the end of the day. And if Jaeger goes into a room alone with the Senate to plead his case, I can't be confident that I'm not going to wake up tomorrow and be told that we're at war. So isn't the easiest way to go about it, just remove everything illegal and then just give them access to check everything. No, that's they, they again, Michael, this island is full of abandoned military equipment from when Jaeger took it over. Like, we can't just get rid of all this. I mean, it is documented in police <laughs> files that it exists, right? If it, if it goes missing now, it's just suspect. Yeah, I guess. So the best way to do things is to try to sort out a mutually beneficial relationship with the state of San Andreas. And uh, that's what I'm trying to like. I'm trying to be the cooler head in this situation with Jaeger and explain to him how you can make a case to the Senate that like uh, clearly the new commissioner and people like Brian Knight are just out for war at any given cost. But I don't think and, he, and, I don't think he is. Uh, brother, but, Brian Knight showed up to this island, literally steps foot on the island and then tries to proclaim I'm here on Aegis business. Like, you, like I said, you can't just be a landlord and show up to a property and then be like, I'm here on official landlord business. No, you I can't know, do that. I know that. And then he tries to flip the script and say, well, I told you I was there on Aegis business and you didn't allow me to just freely act on the island. Therefore, you're in violation. And it's like, again, Aegis is not a government body. And isn't the island like a sovereign nation? The sovereign nation. Their rules shouldn't even count. Exactly. That Aegis legislation being written after the island was already established as a sovereign nation does not immediately give them dominion over the island. There was no to agreement struck between Jaeger and Aegis. <sighs> well, I guess. So like I said, and I told Crane this, if Brian Knight comes here saying he's on Aegis business, I'm just going to very vehemently tell him no, because I have no obligations to respond to him. This is what he, Nick, he is. Nick he's a civil about. body. That's why. Well, Nick, is, look, I said this to you a long time ago. Nick was right. Oh, yeah, I did say that. He was. Nick is, is, is as much as he's a hothead. He's also a big brain. Yes, he, he warned. Yes, everyone, he is. And everyone just pointed fingers. He's like him. he's like the smartest person with the shortest temper. I don't understand that dichotomy, but it exists. <laughs> there you go. Like you got it. Yeah. The, well, dude, the funniest thing that I heard was Bjorn, when we were standing there reconciling over all this, Bjorn said that he feels bad because he feels like you guys were right all along. And then Lando saying, I should text Nick, you were right. We should be friends again. I hope he did that. But that's that's the thing, though. That is a, like, that's in hindsight. Yeah, of course. Can, hindsight's always, 2020. Yeah, yeah I you, mean, can, you can always be, you know, smart and clever in hindsight, but... At the end of the day, they chose well, something that was the wrong choice. Yeah, 
And again, we'll have to live with those consequences. We've grown to accept that, but that doesn't mean that it is impossible to work past either, right? No, no. 99 and 1, Michael, and we've had this conversation. Yeah, well, you're not... Same, it, it, same way you have 1%, so do we all. 1% not... for me was having a gun to my head, so... Yeah, I'm not the one you. I'm not the one you need to convince because you know my state like stance was already like. Well, you, you, your brother and I. I wouldn't say we hate each other. I don't expect your brother to trust me or be close to me at the level that we were. But I, I don't dislike the guy. You know, he's like you said, he's smart, very useful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, his life is what it is, man. So. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know how you guys. I mean, can deal with lest that. we forget that even during the midst of all of that, even having made my decision, I had an hour long phone conversation with you where I told you why I had to make the decision I did. And I told you that it wasn't the right one then. It's not like I'm doing this retroactively. I called you the day after I made that decision and explained myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not pointing fingers at you. I'm just saying a lot of people made their decisions. and Yeah. But but let's not let's not sit here and convince ourselves that people made decisions without being put in an impossible situation, right? No, like, no, no. I, people like, like I've, Nancy, I've, people I've, like Eve, people like... Yeah, but I've said that from the start. If you get put in a position where you have to make a choice, and this is basically, uh, and I, I don't know if I've huh? mentioned this, like, it's the same as, as asking a parent, like, who is your favorite t child? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's... What are you going to do, you know? Yeah. But I, the way I tried to rationalize it to people at the time, and I did say this, even to Denzel himself, I said... It is strange to me that throughout all of this, only one side has ever asked me to pick a side. Or rather, not asked me, but forced me to pick a side. The other side hasn't even brought it up. They haven't even, they haven't even accosted me or, or, or told me that I need to make a decision. They've just let me be because that's how they operate. But clearly, one side here needs undying loyalty. Yeah, well... I I I had a conversation. I forgot who the, uh, who it was with, but we kind of talked about the same thing. Like I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with talking to people. I'm fine with calling people friends. Yeah, but trusting but people is trusting be very hard. is not happening. Like my yeah, trust it. my trust has been broken with literally ninety nine percent of people, meaning that I can call them friends, sure, but. That whatever trust there was is not something that's... Yeah, but I mean, Jaeger's hung up on, like, the same thing, and I would make the same argument to you that I did to him, which is, again, 99 and 1, man. Like, everyone has their 1%. Unlucky that that just happened to be fucking exposed during that entire saga, but, like, at the end of the day, man, like, I'm a gambling man, and <laughs> having someone's back 99% of the time is good enough for me, you know? Yeah. And that still goes, that still holds true, by the way, especially now more than ever, especially now that I am ostracized and to the point where I'm literally being hunted to be killed. Uh, I'd still go to bat for you. I still did. I still was tried to be the voice of reason with people like Jaeger and everybody during that time, but you can only do so much. Well, yeah, if people don't want to listen, they don't want to listen. It's never going to change. Yeah, well, what can you do, you know? It's Los Santos. Mm. Either way, man, uh, I hope that there's an avenue where uh, there can be civil discussion between Jaeger and yourself and, uh, you know, parties of, I mean, Andy was out here last week, talked to her a little bit. It's kind of nice. He gave them passports and shit so they can come by whenever they want. <laughs> um, I, I genuinely, and this was before the threat of war was looming, by the way, this was just out of his own volition. It seems like he's on a road to trying to mend some bridges, but as long as he keeps hung up on this whole Nick thing, and I keep telling him every fucking day, it feels like, as long as you stay hung up on this Nick thing, you're only hurting yourself. I was like, do you, I, I told him the whole thing about it, like I told you, like, uh, hating someone or having hatred is Why? like taking a poison and hoping it hurts your enemy. Mm. I was like, you think Nick lives every day fucking thinking about you? Uh, I, I already, like, Nick, Nick moved on ages ago. Yeah, I know, that's what I tell Jaeger, too. I'm like, you really, you really think this guy's sitting here losing sleep over that relationship? Like, I mean, he, he obviously, I think everybody would have preferred if it was, if it didn't go the route that it did, but you know, here we are. Yeah. Well, but yeah, uh, what I was calling to say ultimately <sighs> is if I end up in jail for treason or for whatever, for the rest of my life, uh, it was a good run. <laughs> Because uh, 
I don't. I I don't know. I, like I don't know what's gonna happen. Honestly, I feel like. Mm. <clears throat> we'll see. I mean, it 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 purely depends on what the Senate thinks, right, and what they decide. And the Senate are not known to be a collected, uh, rational group of people. Well, the Senate is going to carbon bomb the island. We both know yeah. that. So. Yeah. So, either I end up dead or in a jail cell alongside Delver and Jaeger for life, so. Mm. Well, if that's the case... Brian Knight's already got me painted as the third in command on the island. I mean, he keeps saying it over and over, which is not inherently untrue, but still, you know, guilty by association. I did this to myself. Is 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 Brian Knight the one pushing this? Like Brian Knight, Knight is the one. Yeah, absolutely. Him, Bundy, uh, Toretti, and uh, the new commissioner, who's a fucking dickwad. Let me let me you know quote me on that. <laughs> I don't think I know the guy. Yeah, he's a absolute incompetent buffoon. This guy is like egging on a war for a reason unbeknownst to me. I've never even fucking gotten to associate with the guy or build, like even Jaeger doesn't know this fucking guy and he's pushing for war, so. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it, but, like you said. if you No, I mean, I'm not expecting you to fix it whatsoever. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, just saying, I'm, like, I'm just saying in general, like if you if you say to Brian, like, hey, we did back off, that means that you're kind of letting it's him a, It's get, admitting guilt, yep, yeah. immediately. Uh, and he, and and you, it's like blackmail, right? Like you, if you give him what he wants now, he will demand more and more and more and more. Like it, it will never be enough, right? It's like okay, you backed off the the bombings and stuff like that. Okay, now I want you to give me information on this gang. Now I want you to give me information. Basically, turn into his CI or the threat of like whatever punishment he seems to want to wreak on you is like imminent, right? So it, it's just blackmail at that point. There's no point in bending the knee. Like this guy brought me into an interrogation room to talk to me about Jaeger and then instead pivoted halfway through to start interrogating me about my relationship with you and what I know about you. Yeah, right? but he, that's so what he he's, does. That's what he does. Yeah, but that's my point, right? So you give him, even <laughs> if you give him what he wants, he's gonna always want more. All right, well, keep me in the loop, just so I know what's happening. Yeah, I mean, I will. Uh, again, at the end of the day, even if people think it's crazy, I still consider you probably one of my closer friends. So hmm. I, I don't really know who to talk to about these kinds of things that does a good job of keeping it to themselves. So. The most sane person without being the most sane person somehow. Yeah, why are you the biggest, baddest, most wanted terrorist that had to serve as much time as you did in jail, but you're also as rational as you are. It doesn't make sense, Michael. You know what's funny? I called Brian Knight, and the first thing he said as he picked up is that I miss... I miss how things were, and I miss when it was just you. Never really... Hey, man, sounds like everybody made decisions they got to deal with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you don't know what you got until it's fucking gone, man. Yeah, like. Well. Wonderful. At least you had some fucking rationality to this. They they uncaged the beast when they dethroned you from doing your shit and let Jaeger run wild, let's be honest. Yeah. I love Jaeger, I do, but uh, rational is not a word that I would use very often. No, but that's, you know, that's just Jaeger. I mean, you taught the kid. Well, I know, and I already gave you the fucking closest references. He's fucking Anakin, and I'm fucking... Yeah, yeah, no shit. Uh, but but you I... didn't even see the signs even a little bit? You didn't... Well... Yeah, I mean, it's okay to admit you had a soft spot for the guy. It's okay, like... Well, why wouldn't you I liked him? So why wouldn't I have a soft spot for the kid? No, I know, I know. But... Yeah, you, you could have, uh, like I said, in all your teachings, you didn't think to instill maybe some rationality, some patience, some tact. Well, here's the thing, like, Nick, Nick might fly off the handle, but so did Jaeger. Even if I did teach him something, or even if I did put something there, if he loses his shit, he's going to do whatever the fuck he wants at the end of the day. You, you want to know the problem I have with Nick's plans? Nick has like, like nine tenths of the recipe for a plan. And it's perfect. Like, I couldn't improvise on it to make it better if I wanted to. 
but it's like the one tenth of it is just like the fucking throw of the century. Like blowing up Lang's car in the Cerberus parking lot and then leaving a Michael was here spray for whatever reason. Like it, it, nine tenths were there. Perfect. Great. Make it make it seem like the Russians did it. You got it. This is what you're cooking. Why'd you put the spray there? Yeah. Well. Like, you know, nine tenths. We're almost there. Unfortunately, everyone has a bit of lemon lemon juice in them. Uh, I guess a little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think there's a part of me that, that likes to think that your brother does the things he does because he likes to keep things interesting. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the day as well. Like, I've told you this, I think, before. Could I be smarter about the things I've done? 100%. But yeah, but it, that's is, not as fun. Is it fun at the end of the day? No. Why the nope. fuck is Dodo here? Isn't it kind of the... The concept of like uh, the only reason we do any of what we do is because the thought of the chase and getting caught is what makes it fun. Yeah. Yeah, except for you got caught and then it just turned into a headache. So. Yeah, well, that's uh, uh, you know that that it is if I get caught saying. for half the shit that I'm suspected for by night and uh, I, I already told them my life is on the table and I'm you know you think you got enough to put me in for life then you let me know. Yeah. No, I'm, I'll be interested to see what the fuck. Do they yeah. have evidence I, uh... other than... No, so evidence? so that's that's what I was telling fucking Jaeger. I was like, dude, let them go to the Senate. Let them have the conversations they want to have. Do you realize how much you can just absolve yourself by by telling Knight to prove it? Hmm. Oh, I, I understand you suspect this. You think this. Speculative. Purely speculative. Purely hypothetical. If you think you have enough, prove it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when the Senate is involved, proving exactly. it Exactly. You don't have to prove anything. Yeah, that's the thing. It makes it harder, way harder. Look, I already had the, I already have the plan to win over the Senate, so. Do you, have you met senators, Michael? Are you familiar uh, with them? Yeah, I met him when I was put well, on Well, I mean, have you met multiple of them, like more than just one? No. Which senator did you meet? Davis? Uh, I forgot his name. Probably Davis. He's, he's one of the more active senators. Uh, so I've met, I think, every acting senator over the course of the last three years or so. Uh, they are all unhinged. And when I say unhinged, I don't mean like a little bit like Dundee level unhinged. I mean like truly lost cause, like these people don't have an ounce of rationality left in them. <laughs> They'll just do things because why not? Because it's interesting. So I said that uh, if we want to win over the senators, what we need to do is just offer them a safe haven in uh, Sanguine Isle to do whatever they want. As many hookers, blow, murders, whatever they want to do, and just let them run wild out here. Let it be their little playground. That seems like... That doesn't seem like somebody that should be in charge of anything, though, if you think about it. But, but that's the senators. Yeah, I guess. That's, that is who they are. <laughs> I've met them. I've been... Faced, I, like Lando said, I watched a senator get mad at a cop, walk out front of uh, the courthouse and RPG Air One out of the helicopter because the cop that he was mad at was inside of it. So, you know, senators aren't known for their stability. Right. Well, good luck. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's what I said. If, you, if you're going to, like... I basically told Jaeger, if these are the people you're dealing with, if, if this is how the senators truly are, then you are perfect for them, and uh, you should be a senator yourself, and you should just match their energy. Yeah, probably. So, that's what I basically said in that whole discussion about senators. I was like, so basically the senators are like another Jaeger. <laughs> Pretty much. But, in any case, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do in this situation, man. I... Uh, I'm very concerned because Jaeger does not have a good track record of being the person to be in a room and communicate things well to a group of people. Maybe so. he should have a lawyer, but I don't know who would even represent him. I don't think you who's... can have a lawyer to the Senate, man. I think mm, you can't have anything like you. You. Yeah, it's basically just you and the Senate. Yeah, I guess. But right. we have a lot of good things working for us. So. Well, that's good. Yeah, we have some good relationships with cops in the past. We have openly and worked with them diligently and, and you know, provided their requests, like, immediately, etc. Like, 
It's not like we have a history of refusing cops. We just refused Brian Knight because he showed up unannounced and acted like he owned the place, in which we told him, you don't. And then he got mad about it. Why didn't you so. try and sweeten the deal in that case and just say, hey, if you announce it... And I mean, that's what is supposed to happen. He just didn't, right? So... But yeah, uh, all right. Well, how, how's like, sorry to rant about all my shit. How are you doing? How's your recovery? Are you normal again? Are you a morphine addict? Are you dying? No, I'm fine. I don't know. People, people keep saying I'm addicted to morphine. I don't think that's the case. I can just quit whenever I want. Yeah, you said that in the hospital too. Are you still taking morphine? Yeah. Then you can't quit whenever you want. <laughs> well, I'm taking it for the pain. And I'm allowed to. I have a prescription. They can give me one a day. One a day. Okay. Yeah. One in what scale? Like, how much morphine are we talking? Because it doesn't take much morphine to feel real good. Uh, I don't know. 10 milligrams? Uh, I'm assuming the measurement's in milliliters, but yeah. Or milliliters? Yeah, 10 milliliters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. Morphine's usually administered with a syringe, so there'd be a measurement on there. Yeah. But yeah. Well, these are like one-time injectors oh okay yeah that's yeah. probably just enough yeah. i guess all right well uh how are things on your end how are things on the mainland mm, well hydra threatened me so that's gonna be interesting oh so they're back to their usual antics well yeah i guess hey, how much uh how much would seaside want to fight in the sanguine isle versus San Andreas War. I is that a Benji question? Well, it's a Benji question, but I also think if if it, it if it turns out the same way as the yeah, the but the government already lost the Lost War too, so uh, yeah. But that's not that's not so much it. If like is everyone gonna get treason again? Probably. Yeah, and I don't think because here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, probably unless we win. Well, even if they win, then what? they're gonna catch everyone as they get off the island and then. Charles yeah, good fucking luck. Catch me when I get off the island. You can catch this homing missile in your fucking boat. Well, the, the point is just last time people went for it, people didn't actually expect that they would go through with the treason. Yeah, but this time you can set that expectation and you can ask people what it takes for them to fight that fight, right? Yeah. That's probably, yeah, in that case, it's probably more of a question. There's a difference in uh, fighting a war against everyone and it being potential other gangs that you'll have to resolve conflict with later or putting aside your biases and uniting against one cause which is it's giving hell to all of the people that have made your life hell the entire time you've lived tilting, in los santos it's tilting so. me so fucking hard that i don't remember that conversation i had with us because Jaeger like i said, said so much shit. michael we live on an island full of abandoned military equipment i'm pretty sure we've got los santos outgunned for now so. yeah but i think people are still worried like, it, it really, because when it comes to the Senate and the Senate being involved, you don't know what's going to happen. What if we appointed, what if we got Seaside and we appointed uh, Nick as like a military general? I don't think Nick is ever going to try and fight for Jaeger. No, but they could, but but it's like that scene in Lord of the Rings where it's like I never thought I'd die alongside a dwarf, and he's no, like, "What I, about I a friend the or whatever?" Or an elf. I mean, like Michael. Like, what about a friend? You know, and it's like you, you know, enemy of my enemy kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he's convinced in that kind of stuff. Damn it! That guy shot people up in gang wars. Surely he can fight in an actual war. Mm, it takes a lot for him to participate in a gang war, if you even want to call it that. Okay. Well, I know he was out in the streets clapping cheeks with a deagle, so. Yeah, but I think it's very specific scenarios. Yeah, but my point is he's got that blood in him. He's got that dog in him, you know what I mean? Yeah, but. You, maybe not so much, but, you know, your brother. Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's a con, I, I don't think you can convince him to fight in a war that has to do with Jaeger. I, I think that's. What about his friends? His friends? What do you mean? Yeah, you know. Well, he kind of has his own militarization complex at his fingertips, too. So. Mm. I, I think it's a conversation. I'm just saying, have. yeah, I'm just saying that if we can't strike a deal with uh, San Andreas and, and work this out amicably, maybe it's time for Sanguine Isle to ally with the Russians. Yeah, maybe. 
then listen, then then San Andreas better back off if they know it's good for them, you know? Yeah. But that's something you have to talk to him about. I can't talk yeah, on, his, well. on his behalf. Come on, you got your friends with the Russians too. Well, yeah, but I can't talk on his behalf. What I mean. Yeah, but you can you can speak on a little bit of the Russians' behalf. Aren't they like mercenaries? Can't we just offer them like enough? <laughs> I mean, that's how it works for you spoiled rich kids, right? You trust fund babies, you just offer them enough money and they do your bidding. Well, that's goes, that goes for most people, honestly. Yeah, but I mean, you want a partner that has their shit as together as you do, and the Russians come heavily armed, and we don't have to provide it, so. Maybe. And what if you guys get, like, a finder's fee cut for <laughs> selling us a military complex? Jesus. You know, you take 20% off the top, the Russians will never know. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't thinking, like, thinking like 100 million, probably. <laughs> Does Jaeger even have 100 mil? Easily. Oh. We, could, we could easily make it work. Hmm. You know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll sort out the numbers later, you know. We'll... Or you and I can jump back down in that pit for the 100 million and I'll beat you again, so. I don't know anything about that because I don't remember, so that's unfair. Oh yeah, you can just you can just go down in the pit, and uh, my name is above yours for eternity on the wall of the ascended. So like it's you know, remember or not, it happened. Yeah, well, I'll live with it. Crazy to me that you managed to not remember one of the most important moments of my life, which was uh, <laughs> surpassing you. So why is that? Oh nothing. It just felt really good, really really good, to not live in your shadow for a moment. Mm -hmm. Everybody calls me Michael Simone from Wish, so I had to show him how it was really done. What? Climbing a wall? Yep, yep, yep. I'm stronger. I don't care how buff you are. I don't care if you have a washboard six-pack of abs. <laughs> I have the mental fortitude, which you can never possess. Ah! I'm also bigger, so it makes it hard to climb. Okay, dude, you're not bigger. I'm bigger weight-wise. I'm fat. You can see me when I take this jacket off. I don't know if I want to. Okay, that's fucked up. <laughs> no love for the homies. All right. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Also, talk to, uh, when it comes to that, talk to Benji. I don't know if he's going to yeah, sign up for I, it. It's more of a joke. I don't know what Jaeger's plans are. I don't think we're hedging our bets before we have the conversation with the Senate. No. I'm sure that if, like, war is declared, there will be some sort of formal notice, if that makes sense. Like, you have seven days until whatever, you know, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. I'm pretty, probably not allowed but, to go uh, to the island. What, you wouldn't be allowed to go to the island? No, I mean, people in general. If there's going to be a war, I'm going to, I'm going to assume it's Oh, yeah, absolutely. The they'll 100% try to shut down the borders, right? Yeah. Like, it, it wouldn't even be a question if that's the case. If, if an active state of war between Sanguine Island and Los Santos is declared, then yeah. But the thing we have, like, an entire fucking ocean and, you know, sky. So they can't. Look, the cops have been trying to shut this place down for months, and they can't. So, Well, it's an island. Yeah. Can't just shut it down. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, they try, sorry, rather trying to patrol the borders. They've been trying and trying and trying, and they just can't, so. Well, yeah, that's almost impossible with the amount of fucking open sea and shit, so. But I I will, uh, I'll let you go. Just wanted to call you and see how you're doing. <laughs> keep you updated on things. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'll, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how our discussion with the Senate goes. Yeah, yeah, do that. Let me know how things go, yeah. <sighs> All right, man. All right. Appreciate it. Later. Bye-bye. Give me a sec. Uh, Lang could just nuke them? N why would Lang nuke them? He, he... Lang nuking somebody would be illegal.
Lang isn't some entity that can just have nukes and use them all willy-nilly. 